I'm Sarah Jensen, Technical Editor with Power in Motion, and today I'll be speaking with Greg Reardon, Business Development Manager at Parker Hannafin, about the company's critical protection hydraulic hose, which it has developed for use in rugged equipment applications. Could you maybe talk about how or why the development of Parker's critical protection hose came about? Sure. We uh, normally analyze hose failures from the field. So when they, when they come back, for whatever reason, we like to look at them uh, so we understand why our hoses are failing and also, you know, how are they doing in certain applications? Are they lasting or whatever? Um, in doing this, we noticed a failure mode um, where the hose cover was getting removed by uh, like falling debris, uh, tree branch strikes, uh, rock fall, various uh, various other ones. And what happens when that cover gets removed is that it exposes the reinforcement to the hose and it weakens the hose. Once that reinforcement is exposed, it also leads to corrosion, which could potentially lead to a, a premature failure. So we identified that uh, failure mode and thought, hey, we need to you know figure out what we can do to address that. So we put that into our uh, innovation process. Winnovation is what we call it at Parker and uh, developed a new product to meet that need. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so could you provide a bit of an overview of the hose design and sort of what features enable it to benefit use in rugged applications? Sure. We What we did, we developed uh, a hose cover that is uh, protects against this foreign object damage. Uh, and basically what it does is it helps keep that cover in place. So if we get that rock fall or the, or the branch strike or whatever, uh, that cover doesn't get peeled away and therefore you've got that um, protection for the hose. Um, this is a, a patent pending design. Uh, we feel it's a new to the world um, solution to this. Uh, the great part is, um, is that the uh, hose like the pressure rating, uh, the bend radius, the flexibility is not affected. So we don't lose any of the hose performance. Uh, we've just added kind of this extra uh, feature to the hose, this, this cover protection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what then would you say maybe makes it unique or different compared to maybe other hoses that might be in the market for rugged applications? Yeah, mo most uh, folks today, if they have this kind of application, are doing one of two things. They're either putting on a heavy plastic um, sleeve on that hose, or we see where a lot of OEMs are creating kind of um, guarding in their vehicles and routing their hoses um, to keep them protected. So both of these options are expensive. Um, you know, on the OEM side, you're adding a lot of material that maybe you really don't need. Um, and the plastic sleeving one isn't great. It's bulky. It's uh, a lot of times doesn't stay in place. Um, so it's not that effective. Um, so we think with the new hose, uh, the new hose cover that we could eliminate the sleeves um, that folks are putting on, that our customers are putting on. And then uh, also on the design side, you know, eliminate some of that extra guarding and extra channels they're creating uh, to route the hoses and take that out of the, uh, the cost of the vehicle. Um, mm -hmm. So we feel like this solution brings kind of an, a total, your total cost of ownership goes down uh, and mm -hmm. will help both the OEMs and the users. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so are you able to provide any application examples in which the hose has um, either already been used or could benefit? And what are some of those benefits it's brought to those applications? Or if there's any beyond some of the ones you've already covered? Sure. Um, so what we did first, we set out to try to you know duplicate this um, this kind of failure in our lab. Um, so that we could test various design iterations. Uh, we went through quite a few different ideas and, and kind of looking for the best solution again so we could solve the problem but not uh, reduce any of the hose uh, performance criteria and the attributes. Um, excuse me, so we did that. Uh, we came to the solution. Um, and then once we were satisfied with kind of what we did internally in the lab, we said, hey, let's get out 
and do some field testing with this. So one of the applications that we where we saw this a lot was in the underground mining market. Um, so we uh, approached one of our OEMs and uh, said, hey, can we do a side by side test uh, with the kind of traditional hose that you're using today and then the hose with our new cover? Uh, we had great results. Um, we were able to double the life of the hose in that application. Yeah. So that's a significant savings for them. Um, and um, they were really happy with it. Uh, we've done other industries as well. Uh, we've seen similar results and um, uh, very excited about the, you know, the help that this provides in, in solving that problem. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And so how has, how have you guys maybe seen the need or use of hydraulic hoses in rugged applications, just kind of in general evolve or how they might continue evolving or mm -hmm. has it been kind of a static design yeah, we, throughout we, the years or kind of? Yeah, kind of we think that uh, we think it's going to continue to evolve. Um, you know, the, the OEMs would like their vehicles to last longer and keep working as long as they can in the field. Um, certainly that makes them more productive. Um, mm -hmm. We think that if we can take, you know, a repair cycle or a maintenance cycle that's three months maybe now that that, that vehicle has to come in uh, to get repaired, if we can extend that to six months, mm -hmm. uh, then we've increased that productivity in the field, the efficiency of, of what they're doing, you know, and just eliminate that. Um, we see that uh, a lot of uh, companies are kind of stretched as far as it comes to the, the maintenance team these days. Mm -hmm. uh, we see that, you know, a lot of um, users are trying to kind of stretch their MRO budgets for repair mm -hmm. and, and, and upkeep. So uh, we think that this plays right into those uh, mm -hmm. where, the, again, if we can, we can stretch out that repair cycle, then we can really add some, some benefits. So you know, we think people will continue to have to try to do more with less. Mm -hmm. uh, so the more productive we can make them, the more efficient, um, it just will kind of help all of our, both the OEMs and the, and the users. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today and provide some insight into the critical protection hose and how it can benefit the mobile equipment industry.